Hi all, this is Mina and welcome to my channel. I'm excited about today's video because it is my first video I'm making on how to extract data from source systems, transform them and load into SQL Server. This ETL process will be completed using SSIS. For this tutorial, I obtained preliminary data set on confirmed cases of COVID-19 from the Statistics Canada website. And here is the link for you to get a data set as well. At the end of this video, you will be able to understand the purpose of staging environment, drawing data modeling and data warehousing design process. You will be able to migrate data from source systems into staging environments using SSIS. SSIS simply stands for SQL Server Integration Services. And the third objective will be to help you create source to target mapping document that you can use to track all of your ETL processes. You would also be able to create an enterprise data warehouse task schema in SQL Server based on the Ralph Campbell methodology. And lastly, you would have a data warehouse that is populated with data from staging environment to the data warehouse using SSIS. No records. So the same thing that we did for region. So we select. Feel free to go back to your source to target mapping document. And uh, we, are, we are working on patient and it has all of these columns. So we're going to select all of distinct of all of these columns from our staging table. So, so here we have the columns. Um, GDR there and we have Hove AGR we also have AGR and we have AGR is the same as H group we need occupation code and occupation. So I think this is occupation code. And this is occupation. From remember inked as a gift. Move on to my Visual Studio. Stop debugging. And this is the region package. So rename region. Okay. And I'm going to create a package for patient. Rename to patient. Alright, so data flow, double click, the source is on. Double click to configure it. Select the connection manager. This is a SQL query, and I'm going to build a query this time. So this is the icon for table and a table that I'm going to be selecting from is this staging table. So I'm going to add and close. And the columns I'm selecting are GDL, move AGL, occupation, occupation. I hope so. So select let me double check.
So we are selecting GDL, Curve AGL, Curve Occupation, and Occupation. All right, I seem so fine. So this is how you can use the query builder to write your query. And remember to put a distinct function here. Make sure your spellings are all right. Okay. We need to preview to make sure that my query is right. It seems about right. Okay. So going to columns to make sure that the columns are right. Mapping. I'll click on OK. All right. And then I'm going to set my destination. My my OLTB destination. The connection manager is already populated for me. So I'll select the patient table. Go to mapping and make sure that I'm mapping to the right tables. Okay. I do not need to map the primary key field because it's an auto incrementer. Now the gender code. Which one is gender code? I think this is gender code. And this is gender. And this is age group. Occupation and occupation. I'm missing one field. It, yeah, I'm right. <laughs> okay. So I click on OK here and I'll come here to make that change. So what I need is code underscore GDR there, comma, these are the columns. Great. So when I come to the destination, I'll change the mapping up a little bit. So this is for GDR and GDR. You know what? Let me check the table itself. So I have patient ID, gender code, gender, age group code, age group is missing. So I need to alter this table. Alter table, table name. Add column. If the name of the column has spaces in there, you need to put it in a square bracket. So page group. And I'm gonna specify the data type to be Valcar 50. Execute command completed successfully. So if we select now, we have age group in the list. So I'm going to delete the destination tags and add it once again. Gender is set to Valka. Hmm. So I'll drop gender. And add it again.
I check the muffins once again. Gender food. Age food. Occupation food. Occupation age and gender. Okay. As a kid. Okay, so we have created three dimension tables. But before we proceed, I'll just have to drop the rest of the tables and recreate them so that we do not have the Unicode error again. So I need to drop this one. Let's clean up the data type so we don't get the error. Unicode error again. I prefer to have my data types at Vaca anyway. Not sure why I ended up with Vaca, but now that I have noticed it, let me correct all of them. Transmission. Gonna go. transmission. Change this to an card and execute. So we have to populate transmission, junk, and hospital status. So moving on to transmission. Create new package. Rename it to call it. Let's do all as always. Data flow. At source is all the This is my connection. It's a SQL command. And transmission, I have to select this paint of underscore TRM and TRM on agent table. There's three records, so I'll just copy this command and paste it here. Preview, so have three go to columns, make sure that the columns look the same. Click on OK, and now the destination. I'll set the precedence, and our destination table is called them transmission so I'll select them transmission and view nothing in there yet so transmission ID or ignore because it's a primary key this is the code color and this is the description color go to control flow right click on the tax execute come on completed successful Next on the list, we have junk. So I'll select 